Hi, this is Mariah Gullo from The Hollywood Reporter, and I'm here to talk about Hostiles today. Hi, gentlemen, how are you? Hello, very well, thanks. Um, how did it feel to make this movie, and then over the past year see all of the things that have happened with uh, interactions between the Native people and the U.S. government, Standing right. Rock, Barriers? Can you tell yeah. me what that was like? Yeah. It, 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 I guess the simplest way of saying it is the genocide continues, but in a much softer and quieter fashion. Uh, would you agree with that, Chief Philip? Well, what we do to the land, air, and water has already been done to us. And the genocide and the rape and the slavery of this country, <coughs> resurrection, redemption, and peace lies within restitution of the original act that was done to our people. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me a little bit about what it is about the land of the United States that draws people to it, the, the Western United States, from filming there, from experiencing your time there? Um, what, what is it about this land that is so cinematic and also so well, it's, important it, it, to It's cinematic, but it continues to draw people to this day, like myself, you know? I, I, I came here from England, why? Um, reinvention, you know? You see that there's, there's, a, there's a better life that you believe you can have. And that just doesn't have to mean economic or financial, you know? It can be a, a soulful thing that you're looking for as well. Um, the, you know, the, and, and, and so, but we're dealing with a country whose history is replete with extreme violence, too. And uh, coming to terms with, in this instance, you know, the genocide that was perpetrated against the Native Americans, of no longer continuing to make uh, Westerns that kind of push a propaganda that isn't really accurate. Um, we found that um, uh, as we were making this film, and since we made this film, uh, the themes became more and more relevant um, of hatred and division and how to overcome that. Um, and this film really could be set in, 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 in 2017. Um, and, and we've seen how people have become so sadly comfortable with expressing their hatred of the other within America um, and of actually seeming to enjoy uh, division instead of learning from history and recognizing that it doesn't work and it never has worked and it never will work mm -hmm. either. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a gripping story and it's uh, fascinating to me as someone who's chosen this as their adopted country. I'm fascinated with the history of it. And I got the incredible pleasure of learning the Cheyenne language mm -hmm. and also the Cheyenne culture and the way of life from Chief Philip. And he had an, an enormous influence upon myself and Scott in the way that we approached and in the way that we made this film. Mm -hmm. um, this movie uh, kind of begins at the end. Uh, Christian, what was it like to create um, a character based on the perspective that you were coming in with so much backstory? Um, yes, you have somebody who's lived this very isolated life, who's been a very dutiful soldier, who then, because of political whims in Washington, again, similar to today, uh, people who put themselves in no danger at all, but ask other people to risk uh, 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 life and death for them. Um, who is having to suddenly, uh, under threat of court martial, be told to make a complete 180 in terms of his attitude and beliefs. And so we start the journey of how do you stop that hatred. Um, uh, and uh, it's an incredibly complex one. Mm. And Chief, uh what does it mean to you to be able to re have a recording of the Cheyenne language in this film, um, just to have it kind of into the archives now? My ancestors paid a horrible price for where we are today. And I think it needs to be documented. And if, hi if history is forgotten, it will reproduce itself again. Okay. And I hope that this will be just the first of many uh, uh, documentations of that. And, and we need to look at the cultures that uh, are under attack still, even if it's um, uh, in a, uh, uh, um, even if it's in a, in, in a less aggressive, it's in a more passive way, they're still under attack. 
and uh, and the fact that we are losing these languages um, globally, we're losing these languages every day. But it's such a, an essential part of America, and uh, why would we ever allow these languages to be lost uh, to time? And so. Uh, um, a hope would be that uh, people's behavior can change, um, that, that this film can help in some way uh, towards that, uh, towards um, uh, treating each other um, uh, the, the way that we should treat each other, but also an understanding the great indebtedness we have towards Native Americans and in, um, in uh, uh, um, behaving correctly and not allowing these languages to die because that would be an absolute tragedy. Thank you so much, Sean.